Hey everybody, welcome back to Omega Zone Gaming. And tonight's video is... I guess you could call it a rant. Maybe uh, we should really call it a report. So, no, I think rant's acceptable. Basically, EA, stop making excuses. <clears throat> Realize you were wrong. And stop it. Fucking stop it. Stop making excuses. Nobody wanted your shitty loot boxes. Nobody wants to put 400 plus hours into unlocking everything in your game, including Vader. Yeah, let, let's lock one of the heroes, you know, that you get to play as from the universe behind a paywall. Stop saying this is for the benefit of the consumer, because it's not. It's for your benefit. On that point, Need for Speed. Why is there not a fucking garage in Need for Speed? Why are there cards? Stop doing this fucking card system so you can push your fucking loot boxes, you fucking jackasses. And I'm sure with the way I'm saying fucking every five seconds, this video is probably going to be demonetized. But I really don't care. It needs to be said. You have to stop this EA. You are strangling yourselves in the long run. You don't realize it. You have the most downvoted comment in Reddit history by a wide margin. Why do you think that is? That's because people are not buying your bullshit anymore. They don't accept it anymore. They're not open to hearing the excuses anymore. Do you realize you could have done a season pass with no loot boxes whatsoever and probably gotten away with it? Because we've been used for, to that for years now. But you decided to ditch the season pass, which I approve of. Stop segmenting the players. Yes, absolutely. But do not supplement that with loot boxes. If anything, make some cosmetic downloadables. Even, even some RPGs do that. Persona had that. You could get the old costumes for like five bucks. You know, you get the Persona 4 outfits for $5, and it came with a little music. Add in some good visual customizables like that. Okay? Because, while well, I haven't played as much as everybody else, your game is very play-to-win on uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's very pay-to-win. Not play-to-win. It's pay-to-win. It's very pay-to-win. If you're putting the cash into the loot boxes, you are going to have an advantage that nobody else has. I don't care about the rare cards that you can only use once you max out your level. It's there. Same with Need for Speed. Unless you buy loot boxes, you're not getting the best cards, which means you're not tuning your card to the best. Which means, you know, essentially your card sucks ass. Uh... My thing with that being is, it's a racing game, you artards. A racing game. You do not need to make a racing game pay to win. Racing, we love the challenge. We want to race and get better. And by the way, just so you realize, and I'm not the biggest gearhead. That was my grandfather. Me, I'm... I know how to work on cars. I know what an engine is. I know where it goes. I know what, you know, to un to open up to make it sound, beast, and stuff like that. But I'm not as big of an engine head as my grandfather was. But even I realize that guys like to work on their cars. We really do. We don't want, in our racing games, a card system and no garage that it's pretty much a gamble if we can upgrade our vehicle. Stop doing it. I, I wish the U.S. would make loot boxes illegal like uh, certain territories in Japan and China. How they see it as gambling. I wish the U.S. would do that. Take away your power to create this crap. EA, we don't want bull crap excuses anymore. We don't want your PR guy coming out there and saying this is what the fans want. Because the fact that you are the recipient of the most downvoted Reddit comment ever by a wide margin. 
And from what my friends tell me, now Grant, because I've only played Battlefront 2 over at their houses, the community is starting to already drop off. Not Destiny 2 levels of drop off, but it's starting to. The Need for Speed community is definitely gone. Uh, I was actually talking to a friend earlier tonight, and he said he got on and he really couldn't find anybody. So either your servers were having problems, or, you know, as I said, the community has dropped off already on Need for Speed. Which makes sense, because you have other great racing games that don't pull this bull crap, like Gran Turismo on PS4. Forza, which has a loot system to an extent, but it is not as aggressively bad as yours. So, EA, friendly piece of advice is to stop now. You are looking at a future that you cannot be part of. Because we as gamers are done being stupid, pretty much. We've agreed to, you know, start talking with our wallets. Yeah, you got people to buy Battlefront 2. Woohoo! You're putting all your eggs in that loot box, bas loot box basket. And something tells me you're going to lose big on that. If you had cosmetic DLC, people would have bought that. If you had, like, gun skin DLC, something that made your stuff look unique to everybody else's, people probably would have bought that. People have gotten to the point where they don't want to buy into this system anymore. And your most downvoted comment on Reddit ever shows that. We're sick of excuses. We want you to improve. We want you to get that we're not walking, talking bags of money, that we're gamers. And I implore everyone to speak with their wallet. If you are sick of this, don't shell out the money for Star Wars Battlefront uh, 2. Don't shell out the money for Need for Speed Payback. There are games you can play that don't have this system. I'm sure Titanfall 3 will have this system because they've been bought by EA, but Titanfall 2 had a pretty normal DLC system where you could buy skins and other cosmetics. Go play that. You know, uh, sing a lot of single player RPGs, whereas there are a few out there now that are going into this, unfortunately. There are a ton more that don't have this. Final Fantasy XII, Dot Hack GU, uh, you know, a lot of great, fantastic games. Hell, Sonic Forces even gives you a bunch of free stuff. And, you know, I've heard that game's not great, but I've heard it's not bad either. Mario, they didn't put anything, you know, loot wise. Yeah, you can go collect your coins and spend them on power moons, but you're not paying real cash. There is no loot system. Zelda, for the fact that it had an expansion pass, which I know people still don't like. People, just like people don't like that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is going to have an expansion pass. At least it's not a freaking loot box system. They, and they could have put a loot box system in both of those games. The biggest equivalent you got is amiibo support. And guess what? Not everybody's going to be able to find those amiibos. And not everybody's going to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for those amiibos. So, you know, it isn't as big as a crime. It's still a little bit of a crime, but it's not as big of a crime. This is capitalism, and I agree. They are within their rights to do so, but they also need to know when they're going to pull the rope too tight and take off their head, as it were. And they're getting to that point. EA, people aren't buying the excuses anymore. Your most downvoted comment on reddit history by a wide margin shows that it's time to pull your head out of your asses and realize that this is not what we want we want a regular game where we pay the 60 bucks and if we want a cosmetic option we can pay more but we don't have to feel like we're paying to win in the game we're like we're paying for weapons we don't want that anymore EA. So I'll be back soon with the .hack GU last recode review. 
Until then, like if you like, subscribe if you want, leave any comments you feel you need to leave. This is Omega Zone Gaming, and I am out.